guys, my name is China. So it's that time of the month again for another Disney haul. So I'm gonna be showing you guys all the Disney merch I got for the month of June. So if you guys are new to the Ohana, I do monthly Disney hauls where I show you guys all the Disney merch that I buy for that given month. I didn't get as much merch this month, but for July, I think I'm gonna be buying a lot of stuff, especially because of D23 Expo. But definitely make sure you guys are subscribed, especially hit that bell because you guys will be notified when I post my next haul video. Are you guys ready to see all the Disney merch I got? Okay, so let's begin with my Funko Pops. So as you guys know, my obsession with Funko Pops is real, but for some reason, for June I didn't get that many this time and I honestly don't know why I haven't been getting them I guess I've just been so busy with things going on in my personal life that I just haven't gotten around to it but I did pick up a couple pops let's start with the box is a little beat up but I got the entertainment earth exclusive Ola so this one is a little beat up I don't know if you guys could see right here I figured I don't have Olaf and I don't have this version of him and I don't know if I'll be able to find him anywhere. Plus it was only seven bucks, so I thought, hey, it's cheap, why not? I also completely forgot I ordered this because I had pre-ordered it, I think back in either beginning of June or end of May. But I got the Gru, but I got the Gru Amazon exclusive Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And this one I got on Amazon for, I don't remember, I think like 10 bucks. So what I ordered from FYE is the Gru and Rocket 2 pack Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. I think I paid like 25 bucks for this. Also, the top of the box is a little messed up. See that crease right here? I just haven't been getting good luck lately with these pops. So the next three pops I got, and the reason why I say three is because they're part of a set, are the DuckTales pops and I got Darkwing Duck, Launchpad McQuack, and Gosselin Mallard. These I got at Hot Topic. I did that pop sale at Hot Topic where it was three for 30 bucks. So let's move on to makeup. So some of you guys may have seen this video already, but I did a first impression video on the Beauty and the Beast by Lorac collection. One of the four sets was an eyeshadow palette. Besides the fact it has this like cute mirror right here, and it's a big mirror too, the colors are just absolutely Amazing. I'll probably insert a picture just because I know like with my ring light, it, it doesn't really do the palette justice. So I'll definitely insert a picture so that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. To go with the look also came with a cheek palette, also with a pretty big mirror and a pretty one too. And then these are the colors in that cheek palette. For the lip collections, they have both a lip gloss and lipsticks. So the lip gloss collection, Sorry, it's missing one. I have it in my makeup bag somewhere, but it's basically the color that I'm obviously using and I love that one. And then they also have a lipstick collection as well. So the next makeup item that I got, I don't think I'm gonna use to be honest, just because I'm very skeptical with the quality of it. I mostly got it, let me show you guys. <laughs> I got this Lilo and Stitch eyeshadow palette. These are the colors that come inside it and look at this mirror guys, like really this is so cute. Definitely Definitely not my type of color, at least for what I like to use, because I like to use a lot of neutral colors. It definitely fits with the Lilo and Stitch theme. I know I really only got it just because it's Lilo and Stitch. Like, I'm not even gonna use it, but it's just so cute. Like, look at that print too. The Hawaiian flowers, and then there's scrump at the corner. Ugh, I just. I can't, it's just too cute. I got this at Hot Topic for $16.90. In June, the live action Beauty and the Beast came out. So I got the Target exclusive one. And the difference with this one is that there's a exclusive 32 page storybook that comes with it. So it's a Blu-ray DVD and digital HD copy with that storybook. I know that there was a regular one without the storybook and then there's a Best Buy version with I think their own storybook or I forgot whatever it was. But I got the Target exclusive one just because one, I love Target and two, I wanted the storybook. So I think I got this one for $24.99. These next two things that I got are are not officially Disney so it doesn't have like the Disney licensing but I love it especially because I use my planner all the time so I got some Disney stickers to use for my happy planner for this one it's just like a little girl with brown hair and like Minnie Mouse ears and then here you guys can see it's like a full box 
for Jasmine, Cinderella, Snow White, Belle. But yeah, I don't remember how much those were, but I'll definitely link their shops down below. I got them at Etsy. So this next thing I got, I got semi-impulsively. I was hesitant on buying it at first because my wallet, I like to keep a lot of stuff in my wallet, a lot of cards and gift cards and things like that. I didn't buy it when it first came out, but then I just couldn't help myself and it was just way too pretty not to pass up. So I ended up going on the Kate Spade website and got the Minnie Mouse card holder. As you can tell, I'm already using it. You guys can see my Disney Pass right here, my Disney debit card, and underneath it, my Disney credit card. And this one was, I believe, $56, which you can buy on the Kate Spade website. What I also got was from Disneyland, and I believe this was like $10. And it's this keychain that says, here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and fantasy. I'm obsessed with this keychain because it basically just reminds me of Disneyland right when you walk in the entrance to the right hand side it has this plaque like at the top I'll try to dig up some footage or like a clip of the part that I'm talking about so that way you guys can see what I also got and this one I'm actually doing for a giveaway so I think the giveaway will actually be open by the time this video is out so make sure you guys check out that video but I got a Disney Park Starbucks cup I should have got one for myself I, I think I'm gonna go back and get one for myself I thought this is super cute especially because it has Disney Parks on it and it's Starbucks my ultimate fave and this one I think I think was around $20 I don't remember and last but not least I got the Disney emoji blitz plush and it's the Mickey Mouse one in the front he's doing the crying laughing face and in the back is just a happy, regular happy face. And this one was $6.95. All right, and so that is it for this June's Disney haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. And as I had said before, if you guys are new to the Ohana, make sure you guys subscribe. You guys like my pillow? <laughs> Anyways, and make sure you guys hit that bell so that way you guys are notified anytime I post a new video. And for those who have already joined the Ohana, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all your love and support. But also don't forget to follow me on social media because I tend to post a lot of Disney related stuff on social media as well. But beside that, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!